Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCENT and CCNA video practice exam here for you. Going to hit you with two questions. One is on the board. You're going to see that in about 15 seconds. Feel free to pause the video if you want to think about your answer. And then we're going to go to live Cisco routers and see the answers in action. And if we need to do an elimination of a couple of answers, we'll do that as well. Now, I've also got a second question for you that I guarantee is an important review for you, but it's not on the board. So even if you think you know the answer to this question, stick around because there's an important review ahead. Now, here's the first question. A Cisco router has just been right erased and reloaded, and I happen to have done that sitting right here. Now, when you run show IP route after the successful reload, which of the following codes should you expect to see in the IP routing table? C, S, R, D, E, none of these, or all of these? I felt like I was reading a chart in the uh, getting new glasses. <laughs> so which one is clearer, the, the left eye or the right eye? So when we run this, what should we expect to see in the routing table by default? The second question is, what, ki excuse me, what kind of route do each one of these codes indicate? What, is, what do they stand for? And one of them might surprise you a little bit, maybe two, but let's take a look at the live equipment and find out. Now, I've done a write erase on this router, and I've put a couple of common lab commands, uh, logging synchronous, uh, exec timeout zero, zero, but I have not done anything as far as the addressing goes, and that's what the question asked. You know, you did a write erase, you did a reload, what should you expect to see in the routing table? Well, when we run show IP route, you might be surprised that we don't see any routes. It's easy to think that we are going to see some connected routes, right? But the thing is, by default, you're not going to have any IP addresses on any of your physical interfaces. They're all going to be shut down by default anyway, and you're not going to have any loopbacks by default. If we were, when we create loopbacks, we see them at the top of this config. So these are the defaults. We don't have any IP addresses set, and everything is shut down on a router to begin with. So again, when we run show IP route, we're not going to see anything. So we really don't have to do a process of elimination on this one. The answer is immediately none of these. Now, what do these routing table codes stand for? CSR, we've got connected right at the very top. We've got S for static. We've got R for RIP. We have D for EIGRP. Now, the first time I saw that in my studies, a long time ago, I admit, but this hasn't changed, because everybody just says, what? You know, because you're going right along, right? C for connected, S for static, R for RIP, O for OSPF, uh, and then all of a sudden you're like, where's this D coming from? Why isn't it E? Well, you're going to see here in the routing table a protocol that you are not going to see on your CSENT or CCNA exams. You're not even going to see it on the CCNP. This EGP, the Exterior Gateway Protocol, it was here before EIGRP. Just giving you a quick history lesson here to get you up to speed on these codes. This IGRP protocol you see here, this is now obsolete, and Cisco routers no longer support it. The iOS doesn't support it. It's off the CCNA exams. The reason I'm bringing it up is that the E in EIGRP stands for enhanced. It's an enhanced version of the original protocol. But when they got around to the routing table code, you know, you couldn't pick E for EIGRP because E was already taken. So apparently they just decided to go one backwards and went with D. So if you've ever wondered why in the world an EIGRP route is indicated by the letter D, now you know. Because I used to think, well, they do that just for the exams, try to trick you, you know, what's going on there. Uh, but that is not the case, I assure you. Let's not be paranoid. we got enough work to do as it is. Again, that E, you will not see the EGP protocol on your CSENT or CCNA exams. We've got enough to do as it is. But the key here is to remember that your EIGRP code is D and not E. That concludes today's video practice exam. Hope to see you out on our YouTube channel. We're headed for 6,000 subscribers as I speak and our Twitter and Facebook feeds as well. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA and CSENT certification success story.